very dire times right now for Japan and the rest of the world as the government of Japan and the media has now stopped denying um, the magnitude of the greatest nuclear disaster in world history that is now unfolding. Thank you for joining us. It is the 15th day of March, the Ides of March, when Julius Caesar was killed in the Roman Senate, a day known for 2,040 plus years uh, as a uh, day of bad luck. And it certainly is a uh, ill-omened uh, time that we are in right now. It is Tuesday, March 15th, 2011. We are live. And we have Dr. Bob Bowman, nuclear physicist, three degrees in nuclear physics, former head of the Star Wars program, uh, joining us coming up in the middle of the next hour. Then we have uh, blogger and syndicated talk show host Owen J.J. Stone, who's here for South by Southwest, joining us the last 30 minutes to talk about the TSA sticking their hands down his pants and all the new information that's come out with the federal takeover known as the TSA. Also, the other huge news, the White House had signaled several months ago that they were going to roll out an anti-gun agenda. They have indeed done that, dealing with gun registration and uh, the expanded tracking of firearms and the restriction of how many firearms you can purchase by executive fiat. The Justice Department in the last five months has been ordering outside of law in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and California ordering gun dealers uh, to call them when someone buys a semi-automatic firearm. Obama is now trying to push to make that law headline. Obama starts pushing gun control. Another headline, Obama pins op-ed calling for better gun sale background checks, blaming it all on Mexico. And we need to turn our eyes now to what came out about three weeks ago that the ATF has been caught on record shipping firearms into Mexico to then trace them back to the United States. That's even CBS News. In fact, I never played that news clip from two weeks ago. Please dig that CBS up and please print me all the old articles dealing with the ATF caught shipping guns into Mexico. Uh, this is a false flag attack on the Second Amendment. Now that said, that's coming up later in the third hour, but we can't let the nuclear meltdown disaster be an overall distraction from what's happening to the economy, what's happening in North Africa, the Middle East, what's happening uh, with the dollar, uh, what's happening with the domestic police state, uh, what's happening in our economy. But we're going to be breaking it all down today. When we come back from break, I'm going to try to compose myself. I got a little wild yesterday because there was a lot of media denial and government denial about what was unfolding. When I saw Fukushima 1 blow up on Saturday, there was little doubt in my mind that it was going to expose the containment vessel. Uh, I've studied the designs of these reactors. They're online, they're public. They're designed to take a 7.0 direct hit, not a 9.1 direct hit as they took. Then yesterday morning when Fukushima number three, a Mark I plutonium driven reactor blew thousands of feet in the air in seconds. I said, there's no way that that didn't damage the containment vessel. And of course, they're now announcing it did. Another reactor at Fukushima, and I disagreed with Dr. Bowman yesterday when he said, well, three of the reactors were successfully shut down. I said explosions of this magnitude, uh, just looking at it, it's so explosive how fast that explosion went up, upwards of 3,000 feet in seconds. That shows incredible power. You don't need to be a demolitions expert to know that, though I've interviewed so many and studied it so much, I have a layman's understanding of it, that that would damage the surrounding reactors. Number four, which is a shutdown reactor, has now been exposed. Multiple meltdowns of three of the reactors have occurred, and they're now having to admit that more deadly types of radiation are leaking and blowing directly towards Tokyo. March 2011 on this live Tuesday edition. Dr. Bob Bowman, nuclear physicist, will be joining us, three degrees in nuclear physics, uh, will be joining us to give us expert analysis coming up the middle of the next hour today. 
We're working on getting some other nuclear physicists on the broadcast to give us different perspectives as well today and tomorrow right through into the weekend. And as things continue to unfold, uh, we may even do special nighttime transmissions that are streamed at prisonplanet.tv and infowars.com. We'll be posting those announcements at infowars.com and sending them over the Genesis satellites if stations want to carry the special reports. I just want to put that out there. We're not sure if we're going to do them yet, but the winds gyrate over Japan from the uh, northeast to northwest, prevailing out to sea into the trade winds and jet stream towards the United States west coast, California, Oregon, uh, Washington, and above that, uh, the western coast of Canada. That is the direct line of the fallout. It comes in in central California, and the jet stream turns up and runs up the coast all the way into Canada and then back down through Illinois, down into Colorado, turning into Oklahoma. Um, there is strontium, there is cesium, there is radioactive iodine being released in massive levels. That's now confirmed. We're going to go over all the mainstream media reports. The plutonium, uranium-based Mark I, as you know, blew up spectacularly yesterday. No doubt that damaged, in my mind, the containment vessel. I mean, the explosion was so horrific and moved so quickly. Uh, that gives you an idea of the measurement of the blast rate pounds per square inch. And we're also going to get some demolition uh, experts on separately who've been looking uh, at that blast. Uh, but studying Oklahoma City, studying 9-11 with the experts over the years, uh, we've uh, gained some knowledge of this. And, and now it is confirmed that the blast at Fukushima 3 was so big that it uh, damaged uh, the, the shutdown reactor, but it's got the rods in there, at Fukushima 4, a uranium reactor. Uh, and it has now begun to melt down. And there's two other reactors separate from the Fukushima 6 uh, nuke reactors that are also uh, in the process of melting down. And the Japanese government has had a big backlash uh, from the population saying, stop lying. And so now they're talking about this being an absolute disaster. We pray that the uranium and plutonium does not get out, but now they're kind of easing the news out to the people that, uh-oh, we think one or more of the uh, reactor containment systems at four and three may be exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, if plutonium gets out of there, it makes uranium look like mother's milk. It is so deadly. One microscopic micron of it in your lungs, you are deader than a hammer. We have got to pray for the people of Japan. And the winds have now turned to the south and are driving it into Tokyo, and the radiation detectors are going off. Let me just read to you some of the headlines here, my friends. Uh, and I'm, it's unfortunate to be right again, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and to be ridiculed, but I've studied other nuclear disasters uh, in depth because there is a uh, reactor facility in Austin, an experimental reactor, a large reactor, and a smaller experimental reactor at the J.J. Pickle Research Facility in North Austin. And if I'm going to live around one of these things, I want to know about it. And the first thing they pick up is cesium and uh, strontium uh, and radioactive iodine. And those are all spewing out of Fukushima. And they don't even know specifically which one uh, because uh, they have evacuated the 500 workers from the plant. There's only 50 there. It's a death sentence. Uh, and now the Japanese prime minister has ordered the workers back in to try to stave off the emergency. As Gerald Salente has been proven right yet again, he said, come on, you're seeing giant explosions all over the place. Two more explosions last night. First they said one, now they're saying two. Um, but it happened in the night, so there's not good video of it. Uh, so we don't really know the magnitude of the situation. And, and Gerald pointed out, he said, there's no way people are going to stay in there even though the Japanese are knowing, known for being very valiant and stoic and having a lot of courage, and you have to commend them for absolutely no known looting going on, very genteel, cultured, civilized people. Can you imagine watching the footage of Black Friday when everybody goes out to shop when they have uh, the tax-free day with the riots and people being trampled to death uh, and, 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 the, and the rioting when people don't get their welfare checks on time? 
43 million Americans on food stamps in the wonders of globalism. Can you imagine a disaster like this in the U.S., how people would be behaving? I will guarantee you it would not be like the Japanese. I'm not trying to bass America, but we have turned into a bunch of decadent slobs on average. Uh, and we should really learn from the Japanese in the way they're handling this. We have to commend them. Uh, Japan atom plant main vessel may be damaged, IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency. An explosion on Monday at Japan's disaster hit nuclear plant may have damaged the primary containment vessel of one reactor unit. Now the reporting could be two. The Vienna-based UN nuclear watchdog said the International Atomic Energy Agency said the explosion at Fukushima uh, Daiichi Unit 2 may have affected the integrity of its primary containment vessel. They're also reporting four, which was shut down is now experiencing a uh, meltdown because of the explosions around it. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? The IAEA said primary containment vessels, Unit 1 and 3, appeared intact despite explosions there. It said units at the Fukushima uh, and uh, Anawaya and Tokai nuclear plants were in safe and stable condition. Okay, so we have that report there. Uh, here's another one, that, an, another Reuters report. Japan says unsure if nuclear reactor vessel is damaged. And I've got other reports here saying they believe that it has been partially uh, unsealed. But again, that is not confirmed. Let's hope and pray that's not the case. But you've seen the explosions, and there's been more now. Uh, Japan's nuclear safety agency said it was unsure if a fresh explosion at its quake-stricken nuclear power plant on Tuesday has damaged one of the reactor containment vessels. The vessel of the Fukushima Complex No. 2 reactor contains fuel rods in danger of melting down, a development that experts say could cause a major radiation leak if the containment vessel's thick vessel walls were breached. And again, I've been watching and listening to the news. There's a lot more dire statements being made, again, about one, three, two, and four, uh, including a containment vessel at four. But... They're not sure as of right now. Uh, here are some of the other news reports. In order, we're going to go through these. London Telegraph, Japan crisis. Third explosion raises specter of nuclear nightmare. Similar to headlines we wrote last night ahead of this. The new explosion at Fukushima plant as engineers fought to prevent a meltdown in the second worst nuclear accident in history. They're now saying it is the second worst after Chernobyl, and if it continues to unfold, it'll be far worse than Chernobyl. A huge explosion hit another reactor at the earthquake damaged, really the tsunami damaged, Japanese nuclear power plant early uh, Tuesday. So uh, it's just ongoing. The third blast since Saturday, the plant operator said. There was a huge explosion between 6 a.m., 2100 Greenwich Mean Time, uh, and 6.15 a.m. at the number two reactor on Fukushima number one nuclear power plant, a Tokyo Electric Power Co. spokesman said. And again, I have another report here saying that the explosions from other reactors may have damaged number four. The government also reported apparent damage to part of the container shielding the same reactor at Fukushima, 250 kilometers or 155 miles northeast of Tokyo. And previously, the wind was going basically out to sea uh, to the, to, towards the United States, uh, to the east. Uh, now, uh, it is changed to the south, blowing it down over Tokyo. And there are reports that the radiation is climbing there, though they're saying that it's safe if you only have brief exposure, whatever that means. Kind of like they said, the air was safe to breathe on 9-11 when they knew it was deadly, filled with asbestos. Or kind of like they told the atomic soldiers it was safe. Uh, but they're saying around the plant, the radiation levels are climbing off the charts. And they're now picking up strontium, higher levels of cesium, and radioactive iodine. This is very serious. Continuing, uh, here is another headline out of Swiss Info. Japan braces for potential radiation catastrophe. Japan faced a potential catastrophe on Tuesday after quake crippled nuclear power plant exploded and sent low levels of radiation floating towards Tokyo, prompting some people to flee the capital as others to stock up on essential supplies. They've also told people to stay indoors and to try to seal their windows. That's actually good advice.